हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर कल्पना एंड यू वाचिंग माय यूट्यूब चैनल फार्मेसी लेसन्स मेड इजी इन द सीरीज ऑफ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ फ्लूड्स इन रियोलॉजी वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट थिक्सोट्रॉफी इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आर डिस्कशन सो फार वी हैव स्टार्टेड द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फ्लूड्स दैट वन कैटेगरी फॉलोज न्यूटोनियन लॉ सो दे आर कॉल्ड न्यूटोनियन लिक्विड्स एंड सेकेंड वन आर नॉन न्यूटोनियन वन uh they are further classified on the basis of time independent and time dependent category in the time independent category of non newtonian fluids we have already discussed about plastic pseudo plastic and dilatant types of flow and uh, in my previous videos you can even check that and in this particular video we shall be uh, talking about the thixotropic type of time dependent non newtonian types of fluids so let's begin our discussion uh in this particular rheogram we will not be able to find any of the uh type as the thixotropic type because uh it is the image that we are getting through the rheogram is not superimposable once we release the st shear stress in that situation of thixotropy so the pattern that uh, is being followed by thixotropic fluid is actually the one which i have shown you here in the this curve uh the curve is between the shearing stress and rate of shear as uh, with other rheograms but here you can easily see that uh the up curve and the down curve are not super in imposable on each other uh and this particular behavior is known as the thixotropy so this is nothing but an uh, isothermal change and a slow recovery uh if we keep on standing a material of a consistency which is lost through shearing so this down curve for uh, the non newtonian system it will be displaced relative to the up curve so that is how we can define thixotropy um you can assume that uh, if the rate of shear were reduced once the desired maximum uh, had been reached the down curve uh will be identical only uh with the with the up curve if it is a newtonian type of system okay so in newtonian system the up curve and down curve will be the same but in the case of shear thinning systems or you can say pseudo plastic ones the down curve is frequently displaced to the left of the up curve as you can see in this particular curve and this shows that the material has lower consistency at any one rate of shear on the down curve than it had on the up curve it means uh, there has happened as a breakdown of the structure and hence the shear thinning okay and that shear thinning and that breakdown of structure uh, does not immediately get reformed if we are removing the stress or reducing the stress so this is actually defined as thixotropy uh so uh, i repeat the definition as an isothermal and comparatively slow recovery on returning on standing of a material of consistency lost through shearing so it can uh, be applied only to shear thinning systems and the typical rheogram for plastic and pseudo plastic both types are shown here you might have uh, observed that in the case of pseudo plastic one the curve is starting near the origin whereas from for the plastic case it is not uh, starting from the origin rather it is uh, starting after an yield value which we have already discussed about in the previous videos so once we consider a system of particles uh, in case of thixotropic system usually it contain asymmetrical particles that uh, thoro uh, numerous point of contact set up a loose 3d structure throughout the sample at rest the structure is having uh, some degree of rigidity and it resembles more like a gel and once the shear is applied and the flow is started the structure will begin to break down as the point of contact are disrupted and the particle will become more aligned and the material will undergo gel to sole transformation and uh, ultimately it will show a behavior of shear, shear thinning but once we remove the stress the structure uh, starts to reform again 
and this process is not very quick it's not instantaneous uh, however it forms a progressive restoration of the consistency of a symmetrical particle once they come into contact with one another uh, and that point of contact again takes place because of the Brownian movement so if we see the rheograms which are obtained with this thixotropic materials they are dependent on at what rate we are applying the shear uh, whether it is increased or decreased and uh, how much time the sample is subjected to one particular kind of shear so that is dependent on it okay if we say that uh, the previous history of that particular sample will actually affect the rheological property it will not be wrong okay so moving forward so if we can see this graph here you can see the up curve ab is obtained in case of both plastic as well as pseudo plastic it will reach to a maximum point b and if the rate of shear is reduced at uh, after that then the down curve bc will be followed this bc is not superimposable on ba rather it will be displaced to the left hand side of the up curve and in this graph the material has a low consistency at any rate of shear on the down curve as compared to which is shown in the up curve okay so in the case of newtonian system as i already told you the curve will be superimposable and uh, the very important point which is to be noted here is it is time dependent so if you uh, subject the material to some uh, some kind of rest or stress then both the situations will affect it so this is the meaning of time dependency so the history with what it was actually subjected to will affect the type of uh, rheogram that we are going to obtain once plotted like this a very important tip to remember the examples of plastic dilated and pseudo plastic fluids uh, the flocculated suspension will actually show the plastic behavior of their flow pattern whereas uh, the deflocculated suspension will show the dilatant type the polymeric uh, suspension will show pseudo plastic behavior so to remember that uh, just have a, a look at the first and the second letter for uh, such uh, words like flocculated here fl is there f if we if we join uh, this particular curve or this line as a standing line here it will be p okay p and uh, you don't have to get confused with flocculated and polymeric with pseudoplastic here both of them have p as the first but uh, the second letter is not uh, the same but in the case of flocculated and plastic the second letter l is same in both the cases so flocculated suspension you can remember uh, to follow the plastic type of flow deflocculated the first letter is d and for dilatant also the first letter is d so this is how you can remember the polymeric suspension will show pseudo plastic kind of behavior so this is how you can uh, remember it also uh, i hope you enjoyed this video uh, do click on the like button do subscribe my channel and uh, share it on social media thank you thank you have a nice time